yeah, there are less data engineers, people, engineering people in the team as compared to data scientists in this new setup. Yeah, this is <coughs> this is a, a classic <laughs> this is a classic problem um with with uh development in general. Um and this is a classic management problem. I have seen this a thousand times that um yeah, that that people think uh, you're getting a lot of data data scientists and they are going to develop the whole thing and they are going to make sure everything is working and and so on and then you need a few engineers and these engineers they yeah they they are needed but mm, it's it's not that interesting it's under the radar and yeah this is i mean this it's the typical uh, the typical engineers problem um without the plumbing like this podcast without the plumbing uh, nothing works it's a huge mess uh, but it's almost invisible and so you're it's it's underrated and uh, overlooked a lot of times and it's a huge problem uh that people where people are going to find out in the in the not so distant future that the engineering is uh, oftentimes way more important than the actual analytics the data scientists work because uh, you can have a lot of data scientists but uh, when your when your algorithm cannot uh, algorithms cannot make it into production um you're screwed it's it's completely useless a proof of concept is is very very quick you only get data scientists you maybe get an engineer and then boom you're done it's it's all good but if you if you want to if you want to bring something, have a have a good plumbing behind it, uh, great infrastructure, uh, the right tools, monitoring, um, updates, and so on and so on. Everything that you need to run a good platform, to run good services, uh, then you need engineers. You cannot do this with data with data scientists, and uh, that's a that's a problem. And this is yeah typical. This is typical. Um, it's the curse of the engineer. It's so that's that's. I have seen this many times. Um, 